Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. From this video onwards, I will be bringing some of the videos related to Kali Linux and many other distributions like what do I say like uh, Linux Mint, whether it is Ubuntu regarding programming or regarding any other stuffs. So if you are having any queries related to the Linux operating distribution, do comment down below. I will just let you know how to fix that issue in a new youtube video all right guys so the, today's video is a quick and a short video in kali linux you can even use the same stuff to install the dot deb file in ubuntu or in linux mint or in kali linux or in any other linux distributions so for today we are going to be using our kali linux distributions that i have installed in a virtual sorry in a vmware all right guys so without wasting any more time let's start and let's see how can we install a .deb file in kali linux via terminal so let's open our terminal over here so as you can see here's my terminal let me just make its size a bit bigger so it will be really easy for you all guys to see i will actually zoom it okay yeah perfect Alright guys, so for the first thing that we need to do is we need to install a package that we will be using to extract and install our .deb file. So for installing that package, we need to run this command, but before that it's better to enter into your root. So for entering into your root of your Kali Linux distribution, you need to type a command that is known as sudo hyphen s and you need to enter your distribution password. The commands will be listed below in the video and even in the description below. After once you enter inside the root, you need to enter this command to install the dgebi. This is the package that we will be using for installing .deb file. So sudo apt install gdebi hyphen y. Okay, so it's going to be installing that. So I have already installed it. So I'm going to be updating it and actually I have updated it so as you can see the GDEBI package is successfully installed and updated in my distribution. So now let me come to my downloads directory. Let me list and as you can see over here I do have a one directory file to a software to install which is in a .deb format. So this is the sublime text editor .deb format file. So how can I install the sublime text editor in Kali Linux, which is in a .deb file. So for installing that, we are going to be running the dgebi, the package that we have installed and the file name, the file name that is sublime text build. So you can easily copy from here and paste it right over here, but it's giving me a suggestion. So of course I'll go with that suggestion. Simple. So. I remember the file where the file is located you need to be in that directory as you can see I'm inside my downloads directory once you are done just press enter and you are okay so there's something wrong it's dgebi dgebi okay what's happening over here okay I think so I have done a wrote a wrong command so let's go with it again dgebi and let me go with sublime text underscore build. I'm going to be typing it manually amd64.db file. Okay, so it's showing me an error over here that is deb. Okay, so why it's not installed? Okay, so let me check what's happening over here. What is the issues that we're facing? Sometimes you can face these issues in Linux, of course, that's true. So we are going to be fixing it. So I'm not going to be skipping or editing this video. I will be going step by step, but I will be speeding up this video. So you will be able to see how I'm actually fixing this. So once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit my root. And I'm going to be installing the package again. Okay, it's already in a newest version. Okay, perfect. Let me come to the downloads directory. Now over here, I'm gonna run this G, sorry, D. Okay, it's G D. Okay, it's G D E B I. Okay, let me check which was, which was the command that I wrote before. Sorry, in my root. 
sorry sorry inside my root directory let me come inside my root okay i wrote d g e b i okay that was the mistake guys this is the confusion that i have done over here i went with d g e b i but the thing that i need to go with is the package name that is g d e b i sorry guys i apologize that for that small mistake so now once we are in the root and once i have selected my file what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the package name over here that is g d e b i okay perfect now it's a package so it's highlighted in a blue now let's press enter and now our sublime text software editor will start installing so now we need to press y and press enter for accepting all of the files that we want to install so like this in the same way you can install any of the .deb files just same just install a package once you have installed the package you just need to enter your root in a path where you have installed the actual .deb file get the package name gdebi and the file name that you have installed with the extension .deb all set guys your package or your software will be successfully installed so as you can see over here over here i have installed my sublime text editor successfully so now let me come to my start and coming over here i can see sublime text okay so here is my sublime text software that i have successfully installed as you can see over here and if you want to update it you can just download a new version but for now i'm not going to do that and this file is opened over here automatically as you can see over here so our sublime text editor is working fine and successfully all right guys that's it for this video if you like the video please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and press the notification bell for all more amazing videos on kali linux like this and if you want me to show you how can you set up an environment for programming for react development for web development for app development for any other development please comment down below i will let you know how can you actually set a kali linux or any other linux distributions that you want me to show you how can you install and how can you is you easily use it for your programming purpose all right guys then i will see you in the next amazing tutorial video till then peace